Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, I wanted to get into burn rate catalyst a little bit. So we've been doing tons of testing on the, uh, the Arduino test stand here of standard KNSB propellant, so 6535, potassium-based oxygen, two sorbitol. See, I got a big bag of it from harrynuts.com. Um, but we haven't really experimented much with burn rate modifiers or burn rate catalysts at this point. So what I wanted to do today is show the difference in a couple test slugs of propellant, your standard KNSB versus KNSB. That is an additional two parts red iron oxide added to the mix. And what that is going to do is decrease the duration of the thrust or of the burn, but give us a higher thrust for that shorter amount of time. So you're, you're essentially trading your, your duration of burn for a slightly higher thrust. Overall, you should still have pretty much the same uh, total impulse or ISP, something along there. So, look in here. This was our last test with the, uh, the single grain reloadable motor. And you can see we have a total burn of about 1.3 seconds, 5,400 grams of thrust. Now, if we were to add red iron oxide to that, we should see that essentially compressed a little bit and elongated vertically. So we would have a shorter burn, but a higher overall thrust. So we would probably see it maxing out somewhere up here. Not, not a, it's not gonna you know, turn crappy propellant into the kind of stuff NASA uses. That's you know, getting into composite propellants and ammonium perchlorate based propellants. But I'm curious to see the effects on the test stand. But first we're gonna start with just a couple slugs of propellant and we're just gonna time the burn rates just going to be a pretty small batch for each of these since we don't need much. Right on the money with each of them. About as close as you can get with a shitty scale. Now we'll add 11 sorbitol to each. So at this point we have two containers, or two, uh, two mixtures, each with our standard 6535 propellant. Now one of them is going to get a little bit of red iron oxide, the other is not. So I need 0.7 grams to do uh, two parts. I'm making a, a small batch here. All right, just give these a quick wang jangling. Shout out to You Suck at Cooking. <laughs> One of the all time greatest YouTube channels, in my opinion. Nice thing about the red iron oxide is you can see spots that aren't mixed. That's kind of a really good benefit to this propellant aside from the added thrust. Gonna clean the spoon off, make sure no red iron oxide contaminates the clean batch, the control. All right, we got our two mixtures and we're now ready to melt and cast some slugs. So before I hop into casting, you can see what I'm using here, just a little PVC sleeve, lubed it up with some silicone oil. Gotta keep the inside lubed. And just using this little ramrod here, All right, so there's one slugger propellant done. Wait for that to cool, pop it out of there, and then we'll repeat for the second. And now for the red iron oxide. Get the casting tube set up there. A little premature, but that's my style. Look at all those streaks of white, all that mixing. And you can see how much better it mixes on the skillet. Or, uh, what is this? Griddle. The girdle. <laughs> it's un absolutely amazing. That little 2% addition of red iron oxide just gives it such a deep, deep red color. Because that's why they use it as a, a very, very effective pigment in everything from makeup to concrete. Guess I'll have to use my fingers since my ramrod ain't working. Give that some time to cool off. And you know what? I want to make a third grain with a very special ingredient. And now for the special grain, gonna add a little titanium sponge to it. Now as you can see the grains in there 
real tight. So to get them out of the PVC molding, just put them on my vise here. Give them the good old tap. Shits it right out. And there we go. Solid slug of propellant ready for testing. Right in the desiccant bag. Now here's our titanium jobby. You can see some of the little flecks of titanium in there. Should make for a pretty cool effect when it burns. But I don't think it's going to affect burn rate too much. Alright, so we got the three grains of propellant here. And we're going to hot glue them down so they don't fly away on us. Stick a little fuse on them and give them a test. Alright, time for testing. First up is the standard KNSB propellant. slow burn rate. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it would burn a little bit faster in uh, open air than that. Alright, next up is red iron oxide catalyzed propellant. Very nice. Definitely faster. Very cool. Definitely a faster burn. And now the titanium based propellant. Now this should look a bit like a sparkler, I believe. <laughs> Very cool. Right. Didn't seem to have much effect on the speed of the reaction, but it definitely produced some cool sparks. That would look pretty neat coming out of a rocket nozzle. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely next test we're going to be doing the red iron oxide in the, the big single grain motor casing, seeing what kind of thrust we create. Uh, with the standard KNSB propellant we got about, what was it, 12 pounds of thrust. I think we're going to see quite a bit more out of the red iron oxide. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and if you're a fan of the channel, please consider donating on Patreon so I can keep these videos rolling. Uh, as, as AV mentioned, the, the recent changes in YouTube monetization with multiple ads has brutally strap on this channel. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's a big blow. Um, I don't want to bombard you guys with ads, but that's essentially what YouTube wants us to do. And I do not want to do that because I think it's horseshit. And no one, no one wants YouTube to turn into TV. And that's, that's what the corporate scumbags at YouTube are trying to do. And I don't think that's, that's a good direction at all. And I don't think it's fair to the viewers. So please consider donating on Patreon so I can keep, keep the channel alive. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.